It's been about four days. I ain't seen a nigga on Instagram with a chopper or with a pack of drugs with <laughs> with whole bitch. I ain't seen a nigga online doing nothing. I guess we finally got your attention. I guess finally, after Young Thug and Gunner went to jail, it finally got your attention that the feds are not playing no games. For the last 10 plus years, y'all been playing games, man. And we've been trying to tell y'all older people, hey, bro, watch out, man. You got that gun in that video. Hey, bro, watch out, man. Showing a lot of product in that video. Hey, bro, man, watch out, man. It's not good being a pimp and having all your hoes in the video. Hey, bro, watch out, man. Not good to tell that story about what happened the other day. We were trying to tell you all that. We've been trying to tell the young generation this. But it took <clears throat> all the way until Young Thug is looking at Serious Time and Gunner and for people to make a few skits on, on TikTok. For y'all to finally realize the federalities ain't playing. Now, the thing is, is this. Rap in the 90s never used to be this explicit. Rap in the 90s used to be just, you know, like I said, you know, lyrical miracle. Um, even gangster rap was kind of like, you know, People talk about their day, but they wouldn't talk about too many situations. It was, they kind of made it hard for you to decipher what happened. Like, people wasn't really telling you real-life stories of drills that they went on and put out their names and diss songs about who we beefing with. It wasn't that much slander, you know. If there was hip-hop beef, you know... I mean, the rappers seen each other all the time. They went to the same show. So it wasn't really no true beef because the rappers always seen each other all the time. Now, y'all on some emotional shit. When I see him, I'm a shooting and y'all doing fights that, you know, different, you know, you doing fights and, and participating in, in street gang activity to show you how real you are. And then after that, when y'all get arrested, Y'all want to cry. Don't cry now. We been trying to tell y'all. Do not cry now. Don't get silent now. I was watching a video. In, in, um, I think his name is NGK, um, Nook. What up? Man, I ain't never seen so many damn guns in my goddamn life in a damn video. And I'm sitting there looking at, like, this thing, like, you just came out. You got like at least like about a hundred guns in in that video. What? Like, how do you expect to get spot? I used to tell my rappers this all the time. When you make rap videos, not only your fans look at it, sponsors look at it, white people look at it, everybody look at it, your family look at it, businesses look at it. You say you're a rapper. Hey, go to my video. They go to your video. If they if the first thing they see is a whole bunch of guns, oh no, I'm staying away from this video. I'm staying away from you. You too real. You got too much stuff going on. Oh, I can't put no money in you. And these same niggas that do that be crying. Oh man, it's hard for me to make it, man. Because they nobody really mess with me. I can't get no shows. Nobody wants to put me on the show. If I'm a promoter, why in the fuck would I put a nigga with 30 guns in a video on a show. Why would I put him on the show? I'm going to lose money. Because nobody's going to show up because everybody's scared. Just like I'm scared to even put 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 the promotion together. And no female is really going to be there. Because no females really want to be around that type of violent activity. They already know what's going on. And more than likely. You know. If 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 I'm if 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 it's a close performance, your your enemy's gonna show up. So the show's done. You're gonna get a fight. Throw fuck off my money. Fuck off your money. We are done. So that's how promote. That's how promoters think. We all want to be retarded and put guns and 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 and, and drugs and then and, and then it's like okay, like I don't okay. You can just tell me you're a hustle. You ain't gotta put all the, every single drug you hustle inside the video. 
You can just tell me you're a shooter. You ain't got to put every gun you own inside the video. You can just tell me a pic. You ain't got to put every hoe in the video. You can put some Instagram hoes, but don't put your hoes. This, this is what I'm saying. Like, it shouldn't take to 2022 when Young Gunner, when Gunner and YSL, Young Thug get arrested. It shouldn't have took this long. But this generation is so dumbfounded and they feel like they was doing something new and they felt like they was reinventing time and this is new time. No. This is still 1945. This is still slavery. This is still owned by white folks. This is still owned by the feds, owned by the police, owned by the CIA, owned by the FBI. This is still owned by them. So no matter how tough you think you are, when you get in front of that judge and you're looking at that time, don't snitch. You already snitched on yourself. Don't snitch now. Don't, 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 do not be tough now. Take that time. You, you told that story. You shot that gun. You sold them drugs. You put it all on camera for the police. No, don't act like a mark now. 